So this is a temperature probe. These are very, very important to understand how to properly troubleshoot. You're gonna get different temperature probes. Could be 2K, could be 3K, could be 10K, could be 86K. There's lots of different ones. And what I mean when I say K is the resistance of this probe right here. So we call this a temperature probe. What you need to do is to check it versus the temperature. So right now in this space here, it's probably close to 70, 68, 70, so around 20 degrees Celsius, 21, 22 degrees Celsius. And this temperature probe has a resistance chart. And you need to have that resistance chart to check if the probe is reading accurately. A lot of the times it could be open and you're not reading anything on the controller, or it could be way off. And you need to check it with the chart. So what you do is you'll put it on each side here. I just did that quickly. Put it on resistance to check what it is. So this one right now is reading 8.96. And really, you wanna measure that versus the temperature. If it's way off, you gotta change the probe. A lot of the times, like if you're doing, you're in supermarket, you can go around and spray it with cool air. Dust cleaner is a good one, good example. You can just spray it, spray it on there, it'll drop the temperature so you know it's connected to the right point on the board. But you need to check them. And if it's reading off, you do it, do this very quickly. And also, if you want to check if they're, they're kind of working, you just, you can heat them up and you can see this is an NTC negative temperature coefficient. What that means is temperature goes up, the resistance goes down. We talk about this in our supermarket learning programs. Head to the Refrigeration Mentor website and check it out. And we dive into the fundamentals of supermarket service and on call. Get your confidence up there. We talk about troubleshooting. We're in a group session. So when you are in the field and you're looking at stuff and you're trying to figure out, well, what's going on with this temperature probe? Well, you check it out. You use your meter, you use your temperature probe. I've been using a Cooper one. And then you check what the temperature is and you put that against the resistance chart. Love to hear your questions or comments. Check the Refrigeration Mentor website out. Check out the upcoming courses. Check out that supermarket program and let's get a conversation going.